thank you again for taking so much time with this issue and for listening to people in these long meetings. I know the week before Thanksgiving, we were probably all in like 13 hours of extra meeting time around these community concerns. Um, and uh, Martin, like you said, I mean, I do think that this brings up, talking about this issue, it does become a place for us to really think about the future of our county and think about the issues that are the most important to us, about our families, about how we're going to make it. Um, and I think it's a confusing time in the world right now. Things are changing fast. Um, and I just wanted to make a commitment um, to outside of this issue. Um, I've been in the county for 10 years. I came here from another part of West Virginia that was very industrial. Um, and I came to Pocahontas County on Thanksgiving, the family holidays, to um, experience the peace and the beauty and the clean air and the clean water. Um, and I just wanted to say, it's a hard time to make a living for yourself anywhere in this country. I mean, we all know that. It's a hard time, I mean, I work with teenage girls to really think about, you know, what are the skills you need? And I just wanted to say that I'm committed to continuing those conversations and to continue to bring workshops and skills and into the community where young people can think of more creative ways to support themselves. And um, just yesterday, I was in the Hillsborough Post Office was very inspired by a woman who was there with two small children. She had a massive uh, laundry baskets full of packages that were going all over the world. And what she does is she supports herself as a stay-at-home mom by selling on eBay. And she gets clothes out of secondhand shops and she sends them to different places in the world. And I just thought that was really, really, really cool. And I think we need to think about who those people are in our community who are figuring out how to make a living um, and to be sharing that information with our with their children and the teenagers and the 20-somethings who want to live here. Um, and then the second thing that I wanted to say, which is that um, this, the second meeting that we had in the night, the night of the resolution, when um, we were all talking about how great, or just how grateful we all are for how people have taken care of this land here in the county, and that because of the people who live here and because of the people who own large tracts of land, that Pocahontas County looks the way that it does. Um, and that night, I just kept thinking, you know, if we had a massive reserve of coal under our county, would we have been able to be as good of caretakers? And that's just something that I want us to think about. Um, any place that is over a massive mineral reserve um, that the rest of the world wants um, is in a place of being in the hands of the people who are going to extract that. And so I just want us to remember that, that yes, there are choices that we make, but we have to also think on that bigger level and think about places where there has been a vast mineral holding that has been extracted by larger corporations that are, you know, have business all over the world, have thousands and millions of acres of minerals that they control over the world. And just remember that we're, when we sign those leases, that ability to be that kind of caretaker that we've been able to be goes out of our hands. And growing up in Weirton, West Virginia, next to the Ohio River, which is useful for all of that industry, we have coke plants, we have coal-fired power plants, we have hazardous waste incinerators. Like, there's a big river. And so it, it's, a, it's a place that is in the service of industry. Um, and I just wanted to remind us all that we've, I think, been able to take such good care, partially because there hasn't been someone else who's wanted to come in and take what we have.